Hello and thanks for joining us for this Noteworks video tutorial. In this video we'll show you how to manage your digital files like your collateral and your pictures of your properties uh, with our online collateral tab, a file management system built into Noteworks. And we'll also show you how to use our new gallery feature located in your loans property tab. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, first, you'll want to load any loan that you want to upload collateral for, or any other kind of files. You'll head to the Collateral tab at the top, and once you're here, you'll see a couple of things. Uh, first off, I have no files here to start with, so I'm going to upload uh, a few and show you how that works. Um, you have a couple different avenues to upload files into Noteworks. The first is to just click this button here where it says click here to upload and it will open a uh, explorer window where you can find whatever files you're looking for and uh, select them um, one or multiple files uh, at a time and then you'll have the option to upload them. Um, you can also drag and drop files uh, straight from an already open Explorer window uh, into this outlined box um, which is kind of convenient so I'll do that and show you what that looks like so I've got a couple pictures here uh, that I want to upload that are uh, relevant to this file like the, the property for example and some tree damage so I'm going to just drag and drop those into the box I get some confirmations about the files I'm going to upload I click upload and the files are uploaded just like that. So you can upload any kind of files here. Um, I've chose to upload images. You can upload uh, documents, um, Word docs, PDFs, spreadsheets, anything, anything you want, zip archives even. Um, so once you've uploaded your files, you can see they're listed in the table uh, beneath your upload area here and you've got a couple options um, one is to search all your uploaded files by file name that's what this search box here is for you can sort this table by file name file type file size uh, date uploaded um, as well as gallery view which we'll get to in just a sec and then finally you have uh, a new folder button down here um, if you select any of these files, or all of them, you'll get a couple uh, new options uh, that appear above. You'll receive a description of the file that you've selected. Um, if you select multiple files, you'll get a uh, summary of their file sizes. Um, then you can also delete files. You can add them to a zip archive that will be stored in Noteworks in your Collateral tab. You can share them by sending links to people, and you can just, uh, of course, download them to your hard drive, whatever device you're on. So pretty straightforward, but very um, robust new functionality in our new collateral tab. Um, one other thing I mentioned, I said there were a couple different avenues for uploading files into this tab. I mentioned uh, this upload system, clicking the button, or dragging and dropping into this space. You can also upload files into Noteworks uh, via Dropbox. Um, that is covered in our user guide. We have a very in-depth guide to syncing your Dropbox account and all your folders in it to uh, your respective loans in Noteworks. Um, but as I mentioned, it's a pretty in-depth guide. It's all explained in uh, great detail in our Noteworks version 2 user guide. So I'll leave that for there. Um, for now, uh, let's head over to the property tab where we'll show you our new gallery feature which ties into this collateral tab. So we'll head into the property tab and here you can see your standard information that was here before, property address, home details, all that good stuff is there, uh, but on the right you have an entirely new gallery module. Um, now this gallery just shows you uh, an expanded view of any image type files that you have uploaded to your collateral tab. 
So uh, JPEGs, um, GIFs, PNGs, any kind of image type files uh, that you have in your collateral tab will display here. Um, you can change that. You can filter out ones you don't want. But let's just go through uh, everything we have here um, from top to bottom. So at the top, you've got two different viewing modes. Um, theater view shows you uh, one picture at a time in a uh, semi-expanded view. And you can scroll through all your pictures by clicking these thumbnails at the bottom. Um, tiles view is a little bit different. It uh, Click on that real quick. It shows you a detailed list of all the pictures you have here um, with smaller thumbnails but with a file name um, as well as just some other information when it was uploaded for example. Um, in both modes you have the ability to provide a caption so this could be useful uh, just to explain what the picture is, um, maybe when it was taken, uh, any information you want that's not uh, immediately apparent from the file name. Um, so uh, those are the captions. Now to edit those you'd go up here and click edit caption and as you can see uh, that takes us to uh, the next part of the gallery, this row of options you have up here. Expand will take you into uh, an expanded theater mode. I'll show you what that looks like real quick. Just a uh, full screen view of all your pictures. Um, nicer when um, viewing them with other people or uh, you want to see a closer look at your pictures. You can hover over the picture for the same options you had before. Uh, everything's blacked out. It gives you a nice matte background for your, uh, your viewing convenience there. Click out of that. Go back to the options here. I can download the picture to my hard drive. I can share it with other people. Share that link. Um, edit the caption as I mentioned before. I can hide a picture from the gallery, so the picture will remain in my collateral tab, but um, until I designate otherwise in the future, I can hide it from showing in the gallery um, for now. And then finally, I can uh, set the, uh, the picture I have here as my default. Um, you can see I have one here already. Um, I can choose a different one if I want, but this is what, where the default picture appears for your loan, uh, no matter what tab you're on. Once you've selected that default picture, that's where it'll go. Um, otherwise, in the theater view, you can just scroll through these uh, pictures here. You can see I've got um, a couple of different pictures. You know, this is the front of the property, for example. Um, I have a couple pictures here that may not be as relevant, so I, I may want to hide those. Um, and then finally I've got a picture of some tree damage to the property so just to give you an example of uh, possible pictures you may want to have in here um, it uh, can be potentially very useful um, just to have these uh, visual indications of, of what the property is like and, and uh, give you a frame of reference so I'm going to go back and um, just hide a couple pictures here show you how that works I can click hide at the top that picture is uh, still in my collateral tab if I ever want to see it again. Um, but I'm just going to hide it from the gallery. I'm going to hide this one as well. Um, you can say that's the borrower, but uh, I don't need to see the borrower in the gallery. <laughs> just pictures of the home. That's what I'm interested in. So there you go. Um, that's the gallery in a nutshell. Um, you can see that both the collateral tab and the gallery uh, give you a lot of new functionality in version 2 um, and uh, really help in keeping you um, informed in as many ways possible about what's uh, what's going on with your property, different uh, aspects you can manage with the document management system we give you. So very, very useful features in version 2. Um, if you have any questions about any of this or uh, need help setting up your uh, collateral tab, um, you can always refer to our user guide. As I said before, uh, the user guide contains a tutorial on how to set up Dropbox if you have a Dropbox account and get that synced with your collateral tab. Um, otherwise, there's also information there on uh, everything I've talked about in this video. If you have any questions, um, you can also always write into us or uh, call us. We'll be happy to help 
um, in any way we can. So thanks for watching this video. We really hope you found it helpful and informative. And thanks again for using NoteWorks.